welcome back to my channel my name's Jane and this is the dressmakers closet so today's video is all about what I've been sewing I've made quite a few things so grab a coffee and I will be right back after the intro So hi welcome back and if you just found my channel and you like to follow along with all the things that I make and create please don't forget subscribe hit the bell and then you'll never miss out on anything that I bring out and also come over on Instagram and say hello and follow me there and then you'll see every day I post some sort of outfit creation that I've cobbled together from my wardrobe so I've been quite busy over the last 10 days again I think uh, 10 days is probably going to be the regular vlog for me at the minute because what with my custom clothing it's going really really well and I am quite busy with that so I think it's probably realistically going to be every 10 days while I'm busy doing my custom clothing which is good it's good it's good as well isn't it so in between doing my custom clothing having a break from my next pattern launch oh my pattern launch have I seen you since then my pattern launch for the Martha top went really well. I was absolutely blown away by the number of people that purchased my pattern. I just was not expecting that at all. It was double the amount of the Poppy Pinny 4. Now obviously the Poppy Pinny 4, which I'm gonna show you in this video, was my first um, sewing pattern. And that went really well. I was re I was super impressed considering it was my first pattern. So when the, the Martha top launched, I was thinking it's gonna be very, very similar. Ugh, it was like treble the times. And I don't know whether it's because it's more of a style that everybody likes or maybe because I'm getting a few more followers and you know, the word of mouth and people pass it about and say, you know, Jane's got some patterns. I don't know. I don't know what it what, what it was, but it was I was absolutely blown away. I'm having a break from the next pattern. I'm hoping to bring out my next pattern round about November, December, fingers crossed. But I'll keep you posted on that. So in between doing my custom clothing, I have wanted to make myself some some autumn winter blouses especially I haven't got many blouses at all I've got a couple of my all blouses that I made for myself so I've got those two I've got a white one and that pink gingham one. Oh no no tell a lie I've got the three haven't I because they also did that one in that lovely shimmery coppery with the embroidery that I did so I've got the three those three blouses there and then but then I was like kind of thinking well I haven't got you know I haven't really got that many blouses oh, I thought right I'm gonna make myself some blouses the one I'm wearing I literally made this yesterday I wanted something simple not too much going on because I wanted this to be a layering blouse so a blouse to wear under my pinny fours, under some of my dresses if possible and under maybe some granddad vests that type of thing with my jeans i'm going to make myself a denim long denim skirt so i didn't want anything too much fluffiness too many ruffles yeah i know too many frills yeah i know we'll come to one though in a minute but the purpose of this blouse was to be plain and simple with a little bit of style and i wanted it i did want some detail I have to have a little bit of detail. I wanted something, a little bit of a detail on the neckline. I love the pussy bow style. I didn't want anything big like that. So I made like a bias tie front, which gives you the bow detail. So when, when I've got my pinny four underneath, you're still gonna get that pretty little detail. So I made this. So I'll just put my coffee down. So I've had this fabric. In fact, I've got two fabrics, exactly the same, from Felicity Fabrics. This is not sponsored or anything like this. I bought these fabrics. Could possibly, could possibly have been last autumn, which is really, I'm quite, I'm a bit annoyed with myself. I've had a little word with myself about all the fabrics that I've got on my shelf, because it's absolutely ridiculous. It's all very well, I've said this before, I'm sure. It's all very well having gorgeous fabrics sitting on your shelf, looking really pretty, but where does that get you? And one day I was in my room in here, and I just looked across and I just thought, that is just ridiculous. What is the purpose of them all being on top of each other, nice and pretty and not doing anything, just sitting there? I mean, we're talking quite a lot of money, aren't we, in fabrics these days? 
and I just thought right I'm going to go through I'm going to make sure I empty the majority of those cubby holes on my calyx units so I was determined so this fabric and this gorgeous green fabric I got from Felicity Fabrics like I say I think it might be in last autumn and I've got one and a half meters of both didn't do anything with them and the both I'm not sure what they are I think they're like a viscose twill because they've got that like diagonal weave going through but they've also got this gorgeous copper speck can you see it's catching the light there and the same with the green blouse so this is literally what I've just I just drafted it yesterday it's sort of semi fitted I've kept the bust darts in I didn't use the waist darts just to give it that little bit of looseness there and I think I just graded it out slightly from my bodice block and then with the sleeves I just shortened my sleeve block to about three quarter length I didn't want anything that too long on the wrist you know if you're around the house and you're tidying up and they get in the way so I did like a three quarter length sleeve and then I added a cuff to this just a nice simple cuff so Plain and simple, but exactly what I wanted. And as I say, I just did an opening. I think it was 12 centimeter opening and I did a bound neckline and I incorporated it into the neckline to make the, li the little bow. And I've called this little number the Ava blouse because I like to give everything I make, everything that I create, everything that I design, I like to give it a name. Whether it's going to ever turn into a pattern, who knows? But I like to give it give it a name. And then when it's hanging up on my hooks, I know exactly what that pattern relates to. So I was really pleased, super pleased with how it's turned out. Just enough fullness in the sleeve and a cute little cuff, simple neckline, and perfect to go under my pinny fours. So again, this fabric I I think, I know it's a little bit boring, but I think I'm just going to make the exact same blouse in this fabric, I think. It didn't take me very long to make either, really quick make, just over an hour, an hour and a half to make this blouse, so I am tempted just to make it exactly the same again in the green. But obviously I'll keep you posted on my next vlog what I did with it, but it's going to be a blouse and it's going to get made this week because it's on the pile, on the pile. And then I haven't had a chance to get this one made. I think I've shown you this one before. Again, this is Felicity Fabrics, but I do buy a lot of my fabrics from there because they have just beautiful fabrics, beautiful fabrics. And this is 100% cotton, but it's like buttery soft. Yeah, 100% cotton and it's got this gorgeous autumnal leaf, ditzy print, autumnal colors, browns, coppers burnt orange on an antique white background again so this is going to be another earmark for blouses because I like I say I'm desperate for blouses blouses that I'm going to be wearing underneath as I say granddad vests pinny fours denim skirts you know with my jeans but something layered on top type of thing so that's what's going to keep me busy next and then Talking of Poppy Pinny for, it was actually my friend, lovely friend, Lynn, who come, we, we see each other once a fortnight now, come for coffee. She comes to me for a coffee now because I can't leave John for very long. He's, um, you know, fallen and with his, with, with his dementia and what he's got now, he, he can get a little bit confused. So she just comes to me. We just either sit in my garden or we sit in my conservatory and then she can have a chat with John as well. It's lovely. So she suggested, she said, well, why don't I make a poppy pinny for for through the autumn winter, but elongate it and make a proper full on, you know, long length pinny for. I thought, what a great idea, Lynn. Thank you so much. So I'll show you what I've made. But my mum, like I said on the last vlog, I showed you that blue fabric that she got for, from First for Fabrics, another great fabric company. This is not sponsored at all. These these fabric companies are my favourite fabric companies, and I buy from from them both all the time. They just have a lovely the lovely people that run both companies, and b their fabrics. They have a great selection of fabrics. Oh, and c the prices are really really good. Shops, and I would highly recommend you go and have a look. So my mum picked this one when we went to First for Fabrics, and I said I would make her the poppy pinny for because she's going to go and visit her very rich cousin in Oxford and she wants a couple of outfits she's going for the week no going for the week on the train by herself she's leaving me dad so I've made her the poppy pinny for in that blue fabric and I did my mum the size large 
and I put five buttons down the back for her. She preferred the five buttons. I sometimes like the three buttons, but my mum said, could she have the five? I nearly did the extra large, but because it's quite a roomy pinafore, she didn't want to be, she did, She wanted uh, a pinafore that was a little bit more closer than, than the loose, you know, the loose style that I would probably prefer. I prefer them to be loose and a little bit more roomier. My mum didn't want that. She didn't want it to look like she was swamped. Uh, I mean, she's, she's doing really good wearing this because she's quite um, conservative in the way she dresses because she's, she's of that age where she thinks she can only wear a certain thing now she's 78 and wouldn't, wouldn't be seen to be wearing other things because you don't wear that when you're 78 and I'm trying to cajole her into thinking that's not the case mum you can wear anything you like so she's um, you know I cajoled her into to try in the poppy pinny for I'll pop the link for the pattern as well. It's, it's one of my sewing patterns. If you're not sure where I'm waffling on here, this is my first sewing pattern, the Poppy Pinny for. That's the back, that's the front. So yeah, so I made her this and she absolutely loves it. And it's just the normal length Pinny for. Just the normal length, so it just comes to just above your knee. And she's paired, this is her outfit, one of her outfits, she's already paired it with a long sleeve skinny t-shirt in navy blue. She's also got a white skinny tee and I said how about a nice red and white stripe but I think I might be pushing a bit with my mum. And she's even got like a lovely scarf that she's gonna, she's gonna be wearing with and I said, thought oh what a lovely outfit that is mum. Cousin Sonia is gonna be well gel. And it's got the pockets as well, so she was quite chuffed that it's got the pockets. So that was what I made for my mum. I really enjoyed making something for somebody else for a change, because obviously I'm always either making it for me or I'm making it for a sale, whereas where I made this for my mum, and it was, I quite enjoyed making it. So I think, mind you, saying that, I think I've started something there because every time I go down now with something I've made, she goes, ooh, can you make me that? And I think, oh no, no. <laughs> but anyway, so, so yeah, so that's what I've made for my mum and she can't wait to wear that. So she's super pleased with that. And even my dad, actually, my dad was like, a pinny for? When he said, what have, you, what have you been making? I said, I've made this for mum. And he went, for mum? For, for mum? I said, yes, yeah, for mum. She's gone wearing at Oxford. And he went, well, pinny for? And I said, dad, don't be so negative. I said, well, you see when, when she's got it on. Anyway, he was, he was quite impressed. He really liked it, actually. It just goes to show, don't be blinking when you're thinking you're a, you're a certain age and you can't wear certain things. That is so not true. I always, my policy is, nobody can say I look ridiculous except me. So if I think I look great or gorgeous or amazing, that'll do for me. If I wear something and I don't like it, I don't feel comfortable in it, I feel mm, it's, not, mm, it's not me, then... I can tell myself that then I'll get changed and I'll put something else on nobody else can tell me I look ridiculous or I'm too old or I can't wear this as long as I know I, I'm happy with it I'm wearing it and that's my policy and that's what I'm trying to tell my mum I says mum if you want to wear something and you've seen something in a shop and you think oh, I love that but I wouldn't dare wear it because I'm too old then you've got to stop thinking that if it's something that you like and it's going to make you happy to wear then wear it so I'm getting there with her. So I think we can tick one of the boxes there with my mum. So that's the poppy pinny for. So that's my mum's, one of my mum's Oxford, Oxford outfits. After Lynn said, why don't you make yourself a long version of your poppy pinny for? I thought, what a good idea. So this is the poppy pinny for with a ruffle around the neck because I had a little bit extra and I didn't want to waste it. So poppy pinny for and I put five buttons down the back of this because I quite like the way my mum's looked. So I put the five buttons down the back, added the neck ruffle because I do like a ruffle, you follow me, you know I like a ruffle, I like a frill, a flounce, floral, everything beginning with F I seem to like. Mm. So I added that which I thought gives it a little bit of something different and obviously I popped some pictures up of me wearing it. It's proper down to my ankles. So I had, I think it was two metres of fabric. I've got a little bit left, tiny little bit left. So you can get a poppy pinny for down to your ankles with two metres of fabric. I, the only other adjustments I did to the pattern, obviously I had the ruffle, was I added, because I wanted it, obviously the full length type of pinny for, I added two inches 
to each skirt piece at the side just add a two inches which made of and then the cut on the folds which makes four inches so four inches to extra to one skirt four inches to the other skirt just to um, give a little bit more fullness the longer it got and it's a proper full-on length pinafore and again this fabric i got from felicity fabrics last year again i mean how shocking is that but at least i'm doing something about it this year so i do feel a bit better and i tried my best to pattern match didn't do too bad pattern matching on the back it's difficult when you've got a dart in because obviously the darts move it slightly and at the sides not too bad or if you're going to cut it on the fold which is what i did for this one I made sure every the top layer was lined up with the bottom layer on the stripes and the checks so I made sure I lifted it up and made sure that stripe was that stripe and I pinned pinned my fabric so it wouldn't move and I cut it on the fold and I love I love the length so I can't wait I mean I'm wearing it with my jeans underneath me and I think my mum says that looks quite quirky with your jeans and underneath I said but my intention is some nice black tights I've got some new black boots and obviously when I made the next blouse I had visions of me wearing it with this dress, but there's too much going on and I shall show you. I wanted a ruffle neck blouse, a kind of mashup of my primrose dress with the ruffle on the neck. So I kind of copied the neckline. So I just used the darts, the bust darts, and I omitted to use the darts in the waist and I omitted to use the darts in the back. And I just did the opening. So the opening on the back is the same opening on the front. So I just literally used this opening and put this on the front. And then I just made a little bit of a ruler, ruler loop. And just a button. And the sleeves are the same sleeves as what I've got on this blouse. But I had in my head a, 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 a like having more ruffles on the end of the sleeve. So it's a gathered sleeve and then I put a proper ruffle on the end. Now it's probably not the best way of doing it. So if I did it again, I would probably just do a channel and thread some elastic through because you're probably going to get the same effect. I just wanted to see how it turned out to be honest. But yeah, so obviously ruffle neck and it's gorgeous. Pop some pictures up of me wearing it on its own. But with ruffle on the dress and ruffle on the neck, too much ruffle going on because I in my mind I was going to wear them together. Too much too much going on. I'm far too frou-frou for me. I like ruffles, I like flounces, I like frills, but not over overly. And I think that this is a bit overkill. So I love that. I love that but obviously not together. But yeah, I love, I love the ruffle neckline. And again, this is gonna look gorgeous under my plain pinafore. So for example, my mum's, pretend that my mum's is mine. It would go absolutely, I just pop it on underneath. And looks quite cute. I haven't got that on right properly, but you get the idea. So I can't wait to get that one layered under some pinafores and possibly some of my plainer neckline dresses. Maybe it might look quite nice underneath my order dress and even my peggy dress as well so i've got two blouses now to my wardrobe two blouses a nice long version pinny for i've got something else but i can't share it with you because it's part of that felicity fabrics secret challenge so i'll share that with you on the next vlog because that will be revealed i think on the 15th of september so another week or so and then i'll be able to show you what i made there but yeah so that's what i've been up to so my mum's really pleased she's going to go down to oxford looking like the bee's knees i'm really pleased because i've now added a couple of more blouses to my wardrobe a nice long length autumn winter pinny for i absolutely love i love the little ruffle on the neckline i think it's so cute for those of you who've got the poppy pinny for pattern and you'd like me to show you how i did this little bit of pattern hack let me know in the comments box below because i'm sure i'll be making another one and i could certainly film it while i'm doing it and show you how i did these extra bits so that is what i've been up to and as i say these are next on the cards these two fabrics and i'm just looking at my corduroy which i'll just grab that i've got from my next felicity fabrics blog remember i've shown you this before it's there it's on my cutting table to be cut out today it's that gorgeous paisley needle cord in this gorgeous mocha goes quite nice with this top so i think that'll make a nice outfit maybe with a 
cream waistcoat grandad type of vest definitely go with that floral so when i see you on my next vlog i'll have these made i'll also be filming the so long as i promised for the eve pants so there'll be a there'll be a so long on how to make the eve pants and obviously i'll do a kind of lookbook of what else i've made with with these and these and whatever else i get made but yes i've had a really fun few days like experimenting and just making things for myself I'm really pleased with how they turned out let me know what you think thanks so i hope you've enjoyed today's video if you did don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe and hit the bell the usual and follow me over on instagram as well i'd love for you to come over and say hi i'll pop the link for the poppy pinny for sewing pattern if you fancy having a go at making it yourself and uh, yeah i'll see you on my next video but until then thank you for joining me today and happy sewing